strawberries. Probably the most productive berry plant in yours and my garden. With your mother plants now mostly dormant, getting ready for winter, now is the time to winterize, protect, and set those plants up for maximum production next year. Whether in containers, a raised bed, or your garden plot, the strategy is still the same. In this video, let me show you how I winterize my strawberry mother plants to ensure that next year is successful and that winter is nothing more than a well-earned break for my favorite garden berry. I tell ya, we're gonna have to deal with these blackberries pretty soon as well. But if this is the first time visiting the Ripe Tomato Farms channel, first things first, I wanna thank you for stopping by. Here, we talk about all the things you can do to maximize the veggie production in your backyard garden. So if producing fresh, organic vegetables for you and your family is something you're passionate about, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss anything. So the first step in preparing your strawberry mother plant to get ready for the winter is you gotta clean it up. So we gotta cut off all the dead shoots and eliminate all the weeds in and around the crown. With these four crowns, currently only one of them is above ground where it needs to be. The other three are a little bit buried and a little bit too far beneath that soil surface for what I want to see. So what I do to ensure that those strawberry plants don't rot out, you know, during the winter rains and possible snowfall, is I will just dig around them a little bit to expose them a little bit. Same with this guy here. Okay. Just be careful, but get some of that soil out of that way. Okay, and then this final guy in the middle. Okay. Make sure that we don't bury the one that was good there, and you can see the four crowns that are in here are nicely above that soil surface. That's what you want your winter strawberries to look like. So now that you have your strawberry plant cleared, weeded, and that crown sitting just above the soil surface, you're ready for step two. And step two is to amend your soil especially if you're growing in a container. When you're growing in a container, you have a finite amount of resources for those plants to use. And eventually, that soil in there will need amending. Now, I don't use chemical fertilizers anywhere on the garden, so right now in the winter is the perfect time for me to add my soil amendments. Now, I usually have two different soil amendments that I use. One is compost, and the other is this mixture here. Now, Compost won't work in this strawberry mixture because I just uncovered those crowns. If I were to now go add two inches of compost to that, I would simply bury the crowns, defeating the purpose of the end of that step one. So we're gonna go ahead here and use this special soil amendment. Let's have a closer look at what it is. We use soil amendments to recharge, reignite, and remineralize your container soils. Adding things such as alfalfa meal, canola meal, rock dust, oyster flakes, and rock phosphate give back to your soil 
what your veggies and fruits extract. I've always taken the approach to feeding your soil rather than your plants. And never is that more relevant than in the winter when your plants are basically dormant. Simply give the surface of your soil a light dusting to ensure that you've renewed your soil with the goodness that your plants deserve. All right, so we fully cleaned up our strawberry mother plant crowns. We've taken off any of the dead leaves and we've removed any debris or weeds in the surrounding area. We've also made sure that those crowns are sitting just above the soil level to ensure that they don't rot over the winter time. Next, we fully amended our soil with either compost if you have the soil depth or an alfalfa rock dust mixture if you don't want to add any more soil. So that leaves us with the final step and that's mulching. Mulching your winter strawberries is like any other time of year. Simply cover the soil surface with any shredded organic material you have on hand. I like to use green grass clippings myself to add back some soil nitrogen. And with the fall rains, it's now readily available again. So it doesn't look like much but we've really set this bed up for success next year. So with that final step of mulching, you fully ensured that your strawberry patch is now protected and ready for the long winter. So for the next couple months over winter, all you have to do to maintain your strawberry patch is simply watch over it for new weeds that might sprout or for any animals that might get around and disturb the area. Other than that, all you gotta do is wait for spring and wait for those berries to start coming in. Hey, if you got any other tips or tricks for how to winterize your strawberries, whether it's in a container or a raised bed or simply in a strawberry patch, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear about the methods that you guys are doing for your strawberries. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. For those of you that have, I really do appreciate the support. And I'll see you in the next video.